Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Third, and this week on Mixing Wednesdays, 33609 on Printbus. Something that I've never shown before, something that I've genuinely searched high and low to recreate. The 33609 hardware coming from Access Analog. It does something at the very end of a mix, before you send it away to your master and engineer, or again, just on your print bus, it has this punch, like transient response, and this width, and this colour, and just, it just makes a record sound more like a record, just an added bit of extra glue. It's just unbelievable at like 1 to 2 dB of compression, what this Neve unit does. And I've, honestly, I've been high and low trying to recreate it, ever since. But, but, when I did the first video, Arturia wasn't out yet, and the UED wasn't out either. So, is the Arturia, or the UED, or both, going to finally, finally, something as a plugin going to get the sound of the Neve 33609 from Access Analog on a mix bus? Let's do it. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, the analog hardware is coming from Access Analog. There's tons of Access Analog videos that I've done on the channel, and I've, I've even done this exact 33609 compressor before in a separate shootout. Now, Access Analog is a streaming service that you can use. Um, it's a plugin in the DAW um, that connects to their servers, and it streams the audio straight from the compressor, lossless, to your DAW, which then you could then print as a track in the DAW, or you could um, do an offline bounce as well. Okay, it is unbelievable what technology can do these days. And honestly, I've fallen in love with this 33609 compressor. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys hear what I'm gibbering on, what I'm gibbering on about in terms of what this 33609 compressor can do um, to an overall mix. It's hard to explain, so I'm going to let you guys hear it. But basically, the way that the Gentle Giant preset is set is that everything's kind of in a slower setting. So without further ado, this is what the 33609 does to the mix that we've been working on. Um, this is the Sonable mix from last week with uh, Gulfos on it. Just listen to what the 33609 hardware does as much as 1 to 2 dB gain reduction max. Let's do it. So hopefully, hopefully, what you can hear is that the snare's got a little bit of punch, low end's got a little bit more weight to it, um, the mix has got a little bit wider, the vocal's got a little bit more pocket. Overall, I just kind of feel that it's kind of giving it a glue while still... <laughs> it's weird, because I'm kind of saying it's giving it glue, but I've got kind of more of the snare, a little bit more transient punch. It just spreads it out just a little bit. Um, it's still got the character of the first mix, it's just better, it's just a little bit smoother, but a little bit more punch, a little bit more low end, a little bit more colour, a little bit more width. And honestly guys, I've been searching high and low for a compressor that can do it, and I've not really found anything that can do it. In terms of the um, two plugins that I've got for you today, we've got the Arturia, and we've got the UED. Now, I'm pretty sure the UED is different, 33609C is the access analog of the J, I might be wrong. J or N, I get confused, and I don't think that the Arturia 33609 is the exact same 33609 as the hardware. Now, the UED uh, is very, very true to the hardware. As you can see, it's got the slow and fast switches, and I've been able to set the UED in the exact same way as the hardware. The only difference is I've used the high-pass filter. There is like a high-pass and detector in there, as most of the UED stuff has. So I have used that because I did feel the low end was just maybe like it wasn't coming out as much so i have used that to kind of so it's not compressing as much of the lows but it's set the exact same way and in terms of the arturia um i've i'll show you a little bit later on um, exactly how i've used it and how important the sidechain um option is in this but in terms of the attack of the arturia i've set that to i think it's six milliseconds people will look at the attack and go oh, that's quite a fast attack but it's actually a slow attack because 
six milliseconds as I said and the specs is actually the slow switch um, <laughs> in the hardware so I've tried to set the attack as close as I can but the release is the exact same as the hardware so I've tried to set the Arturia in the same way I've listened to the Arturia, tweaked it in whatever way possible to get as close as I can um, and the UAD I've used all the options that the UAD has and set it the exact same way as the hardware so this is the hardware versus the UAD versus the Arturia Right, okay, okay. Uh, you think you just can hear it, yeah? The Arturia, right? The Arturia is there, isn't it? It is there, it is in that ballpark, 100%, isn't it? Um, unfortunately, the UAD, I think it's maybe because it isn't um, based on the exact same 33609, maybe the linear frequency response is slightly different. Um, I do suggest you watch the first video because I actually do go through the history of the 33609 and I talk about the differences. I kind of think they maybe use different transformers um, and um, things changed in every single 33609. That is why there's different um, variants of the 33609 and there is a different sim to each. So maybe that's just the sim of that specific 33609, but it doesn't give me the sim that I adore from the Access Analog. The the UAD has like a nice bit of punch in there, but it's not got the width. It's not got the width. I kind of feel like that it's kind of, actually, I think it actually closes in the mix a little bit more where the Arturia um, as you're going to hear in the final test, I think, and honestly, guys, I'd say I nailed it. I really do think I nailed it. UED sounds great. It just doesn't do that. It just that's the only way I can describe it. It just like it doesn't widen it. It sounds okay, but to me, it's it's kind of it's changing the the tonal balance of the track a little bit. Where I kind of feel that the thirty six or nine in the Arturia, and um, what they do is they kind of keep the the kind of nuances of the track. And as I said, they just kind of do that a little bit and enhance everything a little bit where I kind of feel that there's certain elements of the UED where I'm like, yeah, that sounds a little bit better. But certain elements where I'm like, mm, maybe it's a bit tucked in. So um, the UED doesn't get that specific sound. And it's very, very subjective. Again, try the plugins out for yourself. But personally, I've done this video for the specific 33609 sound on a mix bus that I adore. The UED doesn't do it. But the Arturia, in my opinion, and the way I've set it up, does. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I managed to get that sim of the Arturia. Now, the Arturia has to be set a very, very specific way. And I was tweaking it for a long time. Now, as you can probably hear in the UED, um, the snare's a little bit tucked in compared to the 33609. You're getting more of that kind of snare attack. A little bit more of the transient in the 33609 hardware. And I was able to get that in the Arturia. Now, the way that you've got to set the Arturia up is you've got to do one, the high pass filter. I think I've got that set to about 80 odd, maybe 85 hertz. So I'm kind of bringing the low end back. So I'm not compressing as much low end. Then in terms of the EQ, this is very, very important. It was the low mids that I kind of felt like I was missing. Now, in the side chain EQ, what I've done is I've, I've, I've brought the EQ down. So um, I'm bringing in more of that frequency. I think it was like 200 odd hertz, which makes sense to me. Because if you think kind of thinking like, a, like the body of a, of a snare drum, it's normally around like 220, 200 hertz mark, or around there. So it was funny because I was I was kind of like going through the different settings and just like listening, 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 
I was like, oh, right, okay, there is the snare. There's the body that low mid of the snare. And from there, I had to tailor the gain because obviously if you add in too much of the low mids, it starts to sound a little bit too muddy. And to really nail the sound, I had to listen to everything separately. I had to listen to the low end, right, I've got the low end right. Then I had to listen to, like, the transient. So I was like, right, the snare, right, okay, focused on the snare, got the snare right. And um, then on the high end, I was listening to the cymbals and stuff like that. And that's the great thing about the Arturia is that you're getting the flavour of the 33609, but you can decide exactly which frequencies have been attenuated and not attenuated. And that's the great thing about the high shelf section is that you can choose to bring in more high end, so not compress as much high end, or you can compress more high end and make it more smoother. And then the last thing is the, the kind of drive section, the input drive. That was the thing that really got me there in terms of the transients. It just kind of didn't have that character and that kind of 3D element to it. And I, and I just started cranking the drive and I was like, boom, there it is. I just added in more harmonics because every single unit is different. There is no two hardware units that sound exactly the same. So again, this isn't based on the exact same model as this. So I had to like tweak the crap out of it. And the honestly, that input drive is... Mwah, Honestly, because if, if you give it even more, honestly, I think it could sound a little bit better um, than the hardware because um, the input drive really gives you more kind of 3D character and makes it just kind of come out of you a little bit more. But I do like overall um, what the 33609 does and I wanted to get as close to the hardware as physically possible. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the Arturia 33609 compression with the side chain EQ bypassed and unbypassed. So, as you can see, and as you can also hear as well, um, when you do not have the sidechain EQ um, in play, what it does is it compresses more. Now, obviously, I could bring that compression down, but it's still compressing a little bit too much. It's compressing the transients, it's compressing the snare, it's compressing the entire mix. We're having that control of your lows, your mids, your highs, your drive. The advanced section and the sidechain stuff, the way that I've kind of got that all set up, is I've managed to like maintain the solidity of the mix. I know it sounds cheesy, but to me it's it's more solidified. The snare has got that punch, the low end's coming in there a little bit. And what it's doing is it's allowing your low end and your transient still to kind of have that punch, but it's compressing everything else, which is added in that glue. Um, and again, the high end is just nicely tamed and um, the character from the drive is just kind of giving, just, just doing that a little bit more, okay? Now, it's all very, very, very subjective, okay? What I hear may not be what you hear, and that is okay. You might not even like what the 33609 hardware does, okay? Um, you actually might be like, you know what? There's other plugins or there's other hardware that I've heard that can do that. Let me know in the comment section down below. But either way, I'm going to end this video by saying I genuinely do believe that the way I've got the Arturia set up, I have finally found the plugin that can do it. It takes a lot of tweaking, a lot of tweaking, but I think it is just close enough. Obviously, I'm not going to get them bang on, right? It's fucking, like, if, it's, if I'm saying two hardware units <laughs> never sound the same, then a plug-in and a hardware unit aren't going to sound exactly the same. It's just not going to happen. But to me, it sounds like two 33609 side by side. That was what I was kind of trying to achieve, was to get that 33609 from Access Analog that I loved and almost like getting another model of it. And I think that's what I've managed to achieve. And just remember, guys, if you still feel that the hardware still had that extra edge and you really, really liked what the hardware did, then I do suggest you check out Access Analogs. So, guys, that's been me, Mixing Wednesdays. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you hear the entire mix for yourself. So I'm going to have the first half of the song is going to be um, the dry mix, and then I've got the Arturia and the 33609 hardware, and then the last half of the song... I have got a blind test in there just to prove, right, just to prove <laughs> that um, I'm not hearing things and I'm not making it up that I can pick out the 33609 comfortably. But also, um, is the um, 33609 hardware, is there these still, can I still pick out the slight nuances where I can still pick out the 33609? 
and I can also pick out the Arturia and also the dry mix. But however, my name is Paul Thurs, this is Mixing Wednesdays, and I will see you again next Wednesday on Mixing <laughs> Wednesdays. Right, let's just fucking wrap this up. See you later. Cries when she cries